Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to the second program. We did a program earlier with Yusuf uh, Salam, and we decided we want to follow up on that. And he wants to read a few things from his book to kick it off. And then we'll pick up on the end of the last program that we did and sort of get at some of these issues. And so take it away uh, and read from the book. And what's the title of the book again, just the book, for the, the audience? The book is The Devil and Elijah Muhammad. Elijah and Elijah Muhammad. The yeah, Devil and, and Elijah, Elijah Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. No, set it up if you can, as they say. Yeah, what what is I'm it's part of a play. Or oh, yeah, it is a part of It is a play, actually, uh -huh. with, with two essays. Yeah, okay. And uh, what I'm going to read, and a poem, actually. Okay. I got to mention a poem last I time. I love poetry. Yeah. So I'm going to read a poem about a very dear friend of mine who's deceased. Who is that be? His, his name is Zisue Ngafua. Okay, okay. And uh, he mm. passed away some years ago. Sorry. And he gave me this poem written in, in, in his own handwriting. All right. Yeah. And I decided to, to, to uh, as a memorial, yes. to put it in this book. Wonderful, yeah. Okay. And it's called They Keep Coming. Okay, good. Okay. They Keep Coming by Zisue and Gafua. Mm -hmm. They keep coming, chorus yes. to 4-4 four, four beat feet. They keep coming, chorus to 4-4 four, four beat feet. Narrator's male. You can stop a rose from growing if you nip it in the bud. Mm -hmm. You can stop a brook from flowing, but you cannot stop a flood. Mm -hmm. They keep coming, chorus. They keep coming, chorus. Female. From the Mississippi Delta to the Louisiana Bayou. From the grandsons of the grandsons of the kings of Timbuktu. Mm. They keep coming. They keep coming. Mm. Male. From the Midwestern stockyards. From the arid western plains. From the freedom seekers and the breakers of the chains. They keep coming. They keep coming. Mm -hmm. Male. From the ivy halls of Harvard. From the dark hallways of Harlem, they keep coming, they keep coming. Yeah. Female, some by Underground Railroad, some by DC-7. Male, some by Mule Train, some by Cadillac. They keep coming, they keep coming. Male and female, riding, walking, limping, never stopping, just a coming, count eight. They keep coming. They keep coming. Stop. Minute. Start over. Start. No, just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Okay. Um, it, it stopped the okay. time. So women, we'd start over. Okay. No, we'd start over. What are you doing? Continue. Huh? Continue. No. Uh, okay, but uh, we. D okay. Um, sorry, you didn't finish the poem. It's okay. It's yeah. all right. No, could we get the gist of it? No. Why don't you do it again for this? For because it's not on there. Or is it on there? Everything is on there. Okay. Did you finish the poem or did I mess you up with that? I was worrying about the timing. I didn't finish it, though. No. Yeah. Finish it, could you? Do you want me to start over? No. Yeah, do it. Do it. A good thing is good to hear. It's, he's reading from the book, er, and it's a play, and it's The Devil and Elijah Muhammad. And I messed up and um, uh, because it was... Um, I'll give you the time. The last two minutes. Go on. Okay. I heard it. I'll rush it. Yeah, it bit. started from the beginning. It's a good piece of reading. It's really good. You sound like uh, uh, a real, uh, a real uh, theater person. Okay. Mm. They keep coming by Zisway and Gafua. Thank you. They keep coming. They keep coming. You can stop a rose from growing if you nip it in the bud. You can stop a brook from flowing, but you cannot stop a flood. They keep coming. Mm -hmm. They keep coming. Mm -hmm. From the Mississippi Delta to the Louisiana Bayou. From the grandsons of the grandsons of the kings of Timbuktu, they keep coming, they keep coming. From the Midwestern stockyards, from the arid western plains, from the freedom seekers and the breakers of the chains, they keep coming, they keep coming. From the ivy halls of Harvard, from the dark hallways of Harlem, they keep coming, they keep coming. Some by Underground Railroad, some by DC-7, some by mule train, some by Cadillac. They keep coming, they keep coming. Male and female, riding, walking, limping, never stopping, just a coming. They keep coming, they keep coming. Mm. With their humor and their laughter and their rhythm and their blues, with their jazz and gospel and many varied Jews, they keep coming, <laughs> they keep coming. With their dust mops and their tractors and their soul food recipes with their gas rags and their hammers and their PhDs. They keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. 
the Nat Turners keep coming, the Sojourner Truths keep coming, mm -hmm. the John Browns keep coming, mm -hmm. the Dunbars and the Wheatleys and the Hansberries and the Hughes's keep coming, the Harriet Tubmans keep coming, the Mega Evers keep coming, the Shrowners keep coming, the Goodmans keep coming, the Cheneys keep coming, mm -hmm. the John and Bobby Kennedys keep coming, the Malcolm keeps coming, the Jesse Jackson keep coming, the Martin Luther Kings keep coming. You can stop a train from running. You can turn a, steam a stream aside. You can stop an army coming, but no man can stop the tide. I am my own cause and my own effect. I've been around for centuries, and you don't know me yet. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful, Very good. beautiful, Very good. beautiful. That was a, a friend of yours? Point. That yes. was really good. Yeah, That's very, really very good. And it's got a, Brooklyn. Yeah, all kinds of message going up mm -hmm. in that thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that is that out and about in the world society? You mean the book or the, or the poem? No, the poem. Is the it getting poem? around? No, because he gave it to me personally. Yeah. And um, Would you like it to get around? I think it should well, get around. Well, it's in the book, so it'll get, it'll get around. Yeah, yeah, book, but it, you know. it, 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 I mean, really get around. That's mm -hmm. really inspiring. That's yeah, really good. Yeah, a good, good poet. Yeah. He was a friend now? Friend, yeah, a poet friend, yes. Yeah. Out of Brooklyn. Originally out of Philadelphia. That was a really beautifully put yeah, to uh, yeah, work yeah, and yeah. meaningful. Yeah, yes, that was yes, really good. Yes. I thank you for that. What was his name again? Zeeswe Ngafwa. Did you say he passed? Or yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, uh, he passed Ngafwa. Away. Where was he from? Or he was what? originally out of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. a black man? Yeah, African American. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that was really good. I really enjoyed that poem. That was really yeah. good. He was part of a writing community out in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. Yes. You have a lot of writers, friends in your world? Oh, yes, a lot. I'm, I remember, I remember the. I'm a member of the National Writers Union. I actually, that's fact, good. That's in good. In fact, I'm the uh, co-chair uh -huh. of the steering committee. I'm not sure. I once did a program, if I may, with uh, they have this thing called intelligence, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not sure what it is. And you have body intelligence, all kinds of you know human consciousness and human thing and everything. And, but they have this IQ thing and that, and all, all kinds of things where they try to measure this thing. Uh, or they deal with the idea of intelligence. And I once did a program with a person who, um, and became associated for a little while with a person who, by the way they test those things, they have various ways, Bernay or what, or the, the different ways in which they test this thing called intelligence. Or I guess intelligence in the sense of creativeness and things like that. But who was who was recognized in the normal way as Sanford Bernay, you know, the mm -hmm. regular as the the smartest person in the world. That was a woman. Her name was Marilyn Mock Vos Savant, mm -hmm. and she had done tests that showed that she was the smartest, most in, as they measure intelligence. She was the smartest person in the world, and she she was very very smart. She was my co-host on a on mm -hmm. a couple of programs and everything. In fact, we did a program with the ambassador of Libya with her and then others and everything. But this idea of intelligence, and you've got some people who are thinking, um, our people are the most intelligent, these are the most, it's taken as a, a, a good thing mm -hmm. to be what they call intelligent. And then how in the heck do you measure what it is? There's body intelligence, there's all kinds of things like that. But you're talking about uh, a, a, a process of, um, I think you used the term, he was very intelligent and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, that includes the arts and things like that that aren't necessarily all the linear things by which these things are done. So the idea of intelligence as a leadership element in terms of human expression, uh, that's one. There's mm -hmm. others, uh, you know, uh, uh, generosity of spirit, uh, 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 empathy, ability, and all these kinds mm -hmm. of characteristics of what would be a good or a uh, representative good mm -hmm. element of the human society. Mm -hmm. And um, much of that comes out there, and they just keep coming. Just it, it, That piece seemed to me like that's something that should be getting around. Mm -hmm. I mean, majorly, you mm -hmm. know. You Has it been that. set to music? Has it been set no, to a stage no, presentation? No. Could it be? I couldn't you got you got the thing you're reading male female. Mm -hmm. yeah, you could have the yeah. you haven't had it where it's been acted out. No, it's a good idea though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, get, get yeah male mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. The lighting could be done. Mm -hmm. Do you sure. have a sense of theater? 
Well, I'm a playwright, you know. You are this a playwright. This is a play. This is okay, a play playwright too. is different than a film Most right mm -hmm. or, sure. or, or medium. Mm -hmm. So the play. Right. My daughter is in theater. She just loves the theater. She yeah, you were telling me. Yeah. And that was the early way for people to express things. Shakespeare Certainly, yeah. was very limited. He didn't oh, have back any, to Africa. He didn't yeah. have no internet. There was yeah, no internet yeah, in Shakespeare's yeah, day yeah. and everything. Storytelling. Like yeah, storytelling mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of thing. It's very, very important. And uh, that was beautiful. That mm -hmm. was a beautiful poem. I'm glad we got it on, on tape and everything mm -hmm. like that. Who was the person then? Was he a friend then, I think? Yes, yes, he was a friend. Mm -hmm. But we get back to the point of intelligence. Yeah, or as one of the components of what human, how you measure quality yes, of, of or the human characteristic being. of this species called human. Yes. You know? Because you got other things, empathy, and all kinds of yeah. other um, important. I, I don't think it's just just. I don't. I don't think it's just your IQ. I don't. I don't. Yeah, right. You know, I think oh no, I think it might it's be the very, whole person. This person who was so smart knew that it wasn't just the IQ. Exactly. But she couldn't. She mm -hmm. take these tests, and she mm -hmm. just broke the yeah. the, the yeah. record yeah. everywhere mm -hmm. on those Stan, Sam for Bernay and mm -hmm. all those things, mm -hmm. better than anybody who'd ever been recognized yeah. at all. But she was very modest. Because mm -hmm. uh, in the last show we talked about ethics, I think. Right. The intelligent. Is in you got I think it's go with ethics. Yeah. It's go with manners. Right. It go with empathy for other human beings. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. uh, things like that, caring for other human beings. That's right. Uh, being charitable, right. all of these kind of things. I mean, how about putting that into the standard thing in terms of the religions of the world, if I may? Okay, mm -hmm. bear with me. And uh, in a sense, you're taking the idea of some people are smarter than others. That's kind of funny in a way. Everybody's smart in their own way, mm -hmm. but uh, smart. And then the thing is uh, relevant in terms of human purpose or something like mm -hmm. that. And uh, how, 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 how do we take that among other characteristics of human capability? Because you'll notice that the human history is laden with all kinds of people who claim our God is better than their God. No, God is, a, that's a metaphor, mm -hmm. really. Sure. Mm -hmm. Our system is better than your system. That's what you're saying. Yes, um, yes. Men are better than women. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty yeah. ladies are better than ugly ladies. Yeah. Big, strong men are better than others. The, he's mm -hmm. handsome. You know, better, 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 all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff and everything. Uh, uh, ways of differentiating differences between them. But one of which is the uh, thing that people they've been maybe fight the uh, political uh, the the the, the uh, scientific argumentation about scientific facts and so forth is something that is uh, gets very very heated in arguments over beer or coffee or something mm -hmm. by intellectuals and then also the male female dialectic has mm -hmm. always been there and all that kind of stuff black white all mm -hmm. these kind of things and everything like that so it sounds to me like one of the ones that got in the way more than any other are the people who have a claim to the ultimate r truth, which seems to me seems to be the want of people who talk about various religions. Mm -hmm. Our God is better than your God. Our God is a just God. Your God is a yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. And all these kind of things. That, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? I'm or you could just, just say, communism is better than capitalism mm -hmm. or some sort of argument. But um, so but that's we, not we started talking this other program we did yesterday, mm -hmm. aired yesterday. Mm -hmm. But it's not the way of Islam, though. Islam, okay, well. There's nothing in, 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 uh, in our book to come Yeah, yeah I, I thank you. You can address. I, it's, it's, I'm fumbling around with words, but I'm just trying to think. And the poem's beautiful, you know. Yeah, but nothing in the Quran that talks about something being better, someone being better than the other. You, you know, don't think that's part of what is happening they, between the religions of the world and the history there, of there's, the religion? There are certain people who are per perpetrating that. But I'm well, that's one. There's others. Some people are white and black. So yeah. that's one that they yeah. fight over and kill. Yeah. Or one's an Indian and one's but that's a not white it, man. But, but Islam doesn't teach that. There's, there are people, overzealous people, or people with their own personal uh, program. Well, they might have just some political thing. And yes. actually, if, yes. you're, if you're, if you're a free-floating intellectual, you really understand that major thing is it's all about money. Everything yeah. is about money yeah, and the influence material and world seeking power. and power yes. and mm -hmm. being able to influence people yes. and have more slaves in your corner or mm -hmm. people who will fight for you or something. And you can gin them up with patriotism and singing mm -hmm. songs and all kinds and so of there's things. Really, so but they, they're saying we're better than them. Yeah. And, they are and I think there's a force that intentionally calls us to, us to stray 
from what what our uh, what our uh, well, then scripture that's straying says. over into something where we don't know anything that is better than anything else. No, I mean, what I'm saying is or that they can't have standards. What I'm saying is that the in book, an ultimate sense, I yeah, mean, not in a local. All I can say is that Quran is clear on, on these things that you're talking about. Yeah, you ever being better than the other and things like that. Uh, the Quran is clear that's not Islam. But I'm saying there 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 are people who does who doesn't want you to adhere to that. Because they want the power you're talking about. Is that people who misinterpret Islam? No, I think it's done intentionally. And it could be misinterpreted well, too. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's I what I really meant. It's yeah. used by the people who want to power and get money. money and power. Yes. power yes. Money money is power. Yes. Or power and money go together. Yeah, yes. That's the, that's a, that's the devil's bargain. And that's, why, and, that's many, why, and that's why the Islamic world is like it is in the trouble it's in now. Because yeah. it, it, it has strayed so away from what the Quran say and what the practice of Prophet Muhammad say, peace and blessing. Upon him. Is there so, anybody who says it clean? Is there somebody? Oh, who, is there anybody who says it clean in any of the religions, or do they all it, use it for some? I advantage? think there are people. Yes, I think in all who, in all who, religions. I mean, I can't name people. No, but you I, can't. You could. Some people. Malcolm th- said it clear. Yes. But he did get into social justice and things that have to do not wrong necessarily with, social, there's with there's wrong religion with or God or anything. But know? there's nothing wrong with social justice. Can you be an atheistic Muslim? No. You cannot. No. Can you be an atheistic Christian? You have to ask a Christian that, but but being a former Christian, I would say no either. Yeah. Can also. you be a Can you be an atheistic human being? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Doubting. The world is full of that. Well, atheists not a doubter, an agnostic, as you said. Yeah. You use an yeah. agnostic. Agnostic. Atheists yeah. don't believe. Period. In God. Mm, right? right. Is that right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Any absolute, including God, mm-hmm. is not for, is not allowed. Okay, okay, yeah. So Islam, God, so, so atheist, a, any uh, yeah. absolute okay, is so, not allowed. So the answer, In a world so the answer of, the uh, of uncertainty, the mm-hmm. uncertainty principle of physics and everything, uh, and it's, it, 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 to have a certainty about a God is something that would be by intellectual strictures well, you say certainty, not allowed. The, the, you know, the certainty is embedded in belief. Well, belief, as some belief and belief is, 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 is an abstract thing. It is. Well, so is religion. Well, yes, but 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 at the same time, the believer can believe so to the point where it's reality, sure enough, reality. If you understand what I'm saying, or truth. Yes, sir, exactly. Uh, but they, the religions all say our truth is true, your truth is not. Well, that's what they all fight about. Not all. That's kind of being, no, that's being too broad. Well, that is many, too broad. many fighting. There's there are a lot of people are fighting well, about it. Well, I would it, say ninety-nine point nine. Percent in each case. Wait, the way it is in the world now, I would it's say it's a lot of people. It's being used by political expedience. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah to now there's, there's another one. It's called capitalism versus socialism. There's a lot of fighting going on over that mm-hmm, and everything, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. But that poem was really beautiful. It said they keep coming. Sounds to me like that was a great anthem for the civil rights movement. Mm-hmm. That was I could see that. That's what I was seeing mm-hmm. the whole time about all the mm-hmm. people who've been oppressed. Yeah, it was a test. It was the vast majority that, yeah. of human beings, in terms of their given capability genetically, as you can measure it in scientific terms, is not able to even come close to mm-hmm. realizing itself because the institutions are just insisting that they be slave-like in their mm-hmm. attitude. But the poem is actually too and also universal in a sense. Okay. That the Irish people could, could hear that poem and think about their yes, their of course, Greeks, of the, course. The Italians we were talking about. Well, Italians don't you earlier. notice they fight? They've been fighting. Yeah. The Irish and the English could hardly get it together, mm-hmm. and they're all fighting, and mm-hmm. they're fighting and everything like that yeah. over truth. And I was telling you, I'm reading a book now called uh, Conspiracy Against Our Race by an Italian. He's talking about— An the, Italian. An, it's really about the Italians. Well, then you got all this stuff about the mafia. And, and they Look came at over. all the movies I'm not even talking the about the mafia. I'm talking no, about when no. they first came over, how divided they were from different regions of Italy. Oh, yeah. The Sicilian against the— uh, I think it's called the Neopolitan. You like Marlon Brando? The Calabrian. You like you like Marlon Brando's K- K- Godfather? Uh, the movie. Yeah, you know, when I when I was uh, a little younger, I liked it, but I, but I think now it's just it's just a movie that's really talking about how you can become rich by corruption. Well, that's the world. Well, and by and large, if you're being honest, that's a more or less the world. Well, I mean well, that's no, that's the legitimate established world. That's a secular world. The world, the physical world that we see. But it, 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 there's some people living on higher levels than, than just the world. Well, you're calling it higher. You know, he, Prophet Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him, said, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. And there are people who live that kind of life. 
Well, that's I guess maybe yeah, but you it seems to me that they're trying to put that into something special like the religion or the idea of God. I, I mean, it's really it's just another thing to present. You know, it's not anything true. Well, like we say, truth is, when it comes truth to religion, is in the beholder, it's, it's yeah. abstract. You yeah, know? yeah. But my yeah, point is, yeah. I don't I don't think the whole world is involved in what we see. One of my points is, you have people yeah. who, who are actually living trying their best to live pristine, ethical lives, yeah. uh, trying to be fair, mm. uh, trying to love each other regardless of race and color. Uh, Good guys finish life. And uh, in fact, uh, my imam, Imam Talib Abdul Rashid yeah. of the Mosque Islamic Brotherhood, he's a, he's a believer and a practitioner yeah. of getting together with other religions, getting together with other religions so we'll know each other. The Holy Quran say, you must know each other. Allah say he made you to know each other. Mm -hmm. So, so we, go, we, we talk with rabbis, we talk to priests, we come together, we talk. We don't talk about our differences. We talk about what do we have and, 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 and similar. Well, I guess that's good. It that's is a good. good thing to have happen. You like good. the United Nations? You yeah. like the idea of the United Nations or no? But again, I, that's I, a political I, think, I, think it's, I think it's corrupt too. Uh -huh. I think that it's bought, well, and, is so, there bought and sold by the West. And they do basically, uh, until recently, they did do something with Mr. Bush's uh, uh, he wanted to do well, something Mr. Bush just did, and they disagreed with him. I don't know if you're uh, talking about Bush. Jerusalem, or not just, but I'm Trump. I mean, Trump. Yeah, and he, Trump, I think he, yeah. yeah, he wanted to do something, I think, about Jerusalem and all well, of that. Well, he's going to have it recognized as and the, then, and the And the UN people came out against that. Yeah, you almost Unanimous crossed the board, but yeah, not yeah. the Israelis didn't. Yeah, they've but got their own is, truth. Usually they don't. And they've got this thing. If I may, yeah. I, I don't want to. I'm just, I just ramble, you know. And That's everything. okay, but but uh, I got a lot of Jewish friends, you know. And I, I, first of all, there's an awful lot of Jewish people. I can't mm -hmm. imagine living in a world without Mel Brooks, <laughs> you know, or Brooks, or, or, yeah, okay. or Zero Mustel and yeah. some of the, you mm -hmm. know, the theater people. Mm -hmm. And well, I wouldn't say I have Jewish friends because I'm not around it, but not to make friends. But I would say people I respect and associates. Yeah. That, I, that, I, that, I, that, I, that I care about. I think they're really mm -hmm. great people, by and large. They're all, and there's, in theater, they're really great. Oh, enough, yeah, they, they're definitely. You know, uh, and uh, everything like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not sure um, um, that they have, that I, and, and we've talked a good, no, we haven't with you. We've talked to others about uh, a fellow you saw on the program I did yesterday. Yeah, the guy, it the aired professor, today. Professor, yeah. He's a professor up there, and he's a Palestinian, he's a, He's a, um, a Jewish guy, yes, mm -hmm. and he's against what Israel is doing in, Jeru in, uh, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And um, there is uh, opposition to that from among some within the Jewish community, mm -hmm. but by and large, uh, they're doing and doing what the hell ever they want. That's and true. they're just riding uh, rampant in terms of extending their power, and they're representing the fact that they've been treated so horribly mm -hmm. by fascism mm -hmm. in Germany. By the, It was a horror. And the anti-Semitism yes, that's been indeed. there. And they say there's been anti... And they used to have this thing called anti-black. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? It was called racism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, like anti-Semitism <laughs> in that. But they yeah. had this terrible thing. And so uh, you, you got these Orthodox Jews and then you got all the, the subdivisions of the religions. Of Who course. can keep track of all the religions? There's the the people who like buttercups, the people who like roses, have different things in the name of Jesus or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm getting a little bit off the coast. But with the Jewish, which is a big one, that may be the biggest problem in the world. You got the whole Islamic community up in arms, mm -hmm. largely perhaps. I don't know. I've thought about it. One real big reason is the existence of Israel in the middle of the Arab Ummah, as they see it. And that they're going and they're being... Dis they're being um, uh, the, the Islam is being trampled in terms of them. They got all kinds of atomic bombs, you notice. Mm -hmm. They got all kinds of, re of money from Jewish sources and other sources, business sources, the United States, unlimited support, support, mm -hmm. support mm -hmm. to walk all over the Palestinians or Islamic people. So that is something that I think is helping. Uh, it, there's other issues as well, but it's, it's influencing the... Um, the, uh, the, the, the the situation in the world, the ISIS and everything like yes. that, and the move to try and get back to the time of the ju the truth mm -hmm. of Andalusia, mm -hmm. or, or you know, they, they think we had a true moment, the Islam mm -hmm. did and everything, and we're, they're mm -hmm. dissing our troop thing, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, th but the Jew there's Jewish ones. They wear the the, the Natura Carta. Are you familiar with them? Yeah, they're yes, the ones yeah. that are r Orthodox yes. Jews. Yeah. And one of the things they claim, or they say, I got a lot of friends there, but I got friends yeah. all over yeah. the Jewish. They're the ones. I like Jews a lot yeah. because they're smart. Well, they say they want they they and they're, they're really ethical. Mm -hmm. And they're great theater people. They're really mm -hmm. funny, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. But the one thing that these Natura Carta people. They are the orthodox, traditional. It's been generations and generations already suffering all kinds of pogroms and all mm -hmm. kinds of indignities and so forth. Mm -hmm. But they say, th and their claim is that they're going to establish as their right to truth, they're re-establishing their claim to the uh, Jerusalem and to the Holy Land yes. because it's theirs. And they got a right to do that in return and these people are, uh, the Tutur Karta people, are the most vehement. Now, this is from the idea of the truth, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, most in, the most vehement anti-Zionist people in the world mm -hmm. are these orthodox religious Jews yeah. who say the biggest sin possible is to claim before uh, the return, mm -hmm. which is part of their story mm -hmm. and their, their sense of mission mm -hmm. or their place and the claim to their having a special place in the pantheon of all the yeah. things that describe I the world. I think they live upstate. They got a no, community upstate. No, state, no, yeah. but no, not that. I'm talking about the worldwide and, yeah. and, to, and to say, to give evidence of the fact that theirs is better than the other. Mm -hmm. They've got a claim to it, the others don't because our truth is better than your truth. That's a thing that sounds political, but it's also a thing that's gone on among the religious. And, but they've got a thing among their thinking and that is that you that you do not return at the end time, as they would say, from all of their reading of the Torah and all the reading of the uh, all of the religious books and all the truths and things like that, until and in the wake of the clear appearance of the Moshiach yes. or the 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 Messiah. Yes. Now. And they claim that these claims of Israel to return with all of their bombs and all of their atomic bombs and all of their power and all of their unlimited support from the United States with bombs and tanks and everything like that is, depend is, is, is legitimate because of what the Nazis did to them or what was done to them in Europe or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they say that's, the, that's a thing. But, and so what they're saying is, where is the Mashiach? Mm -hmm. Where is that which the book says we have to have in order to have it be the end time? What do we mean by the end time? Mm. How do we spell it out? You got a lot of Jewish scholars who would deal with that in political or economic terms or something. Mm -hmm. But I just bring that all up as something that swam into my mind. Yeah, and it's very about important. About the truth of any truth, religious mm -hmm. or political. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... I uh, don't know what to say after that, except. Well, I agree with you that, that uh, it certainly is a, is, a, is, a, is a world threat. That whole situation is a world threat. Yeah, no, it's the idea of a religion or mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. The idea of being God. If you say there's no God, or uh, you can't say there's no God if you're an intellectual, you say, it, it, we don't know. You can say, you, you can't say no because y y the, the world is uncertain. But uh, to say there is a God, which is very common in people's getting a sense of identity and everything. And if you say there's no God, that's really uh, blasphemous and horrible. Mm -hmm. But there probably isn't. Oh, no, we don't know if there is. Yes. But if we get, well, to, a world, we if we get to a world where the world, it, the world is not just. Do mm -hmm. you think the world is just? And it would be, they all say you'd be at a time of a just world for everybody rather than one where everybody's fighting and some few people own everything and all the assets are living in policies and the people are wallowing around in the mud. Puerto Rico, I can't even get uh, water mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that now, or the mm -hmm. poor people, or the black people. Mm -hmm. You put them up in trees and all that kind of stuff and you're still saying you're living in a time of justice and you're not well, that's, that's for well, that's a lot of the people, you see. But we got Universal that. justice, right, mm -hmm. is something that might be required before the, before the appearance of the Moshiach. Mm -hmm. or in Judaic terms, or that would be the second return of Christ or something. I don't know what it would be in the Islamic force. Mm -hmm. What is the sign in the Islamic uh, tradition of comparable to the Mashiach or the Messiah? Well, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have the So Messiah. how do you get around that? Get around that, that idea? Yeah. 
Or what is, the t what is the evidence or what is the reason for saying this time is better or different than all the rest of history? Well, I've never, that, that's, not my, that's not my point of view. Okay, good. That's not my point I, I'm just point rambling. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Let me, can I read another? By all means, read away. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great poem. Great poem. Well, what I'm going to do if now. The man's passed, right? Huh? The poem. The poet? Yes, he's where he passed Sorry. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I want Sorry. to, what I'm going to read now is uh, in, in the play, <coughs> uh, Mr. Muhammad now has, has um, resolved the, the, the tension that's in his office. Uh -huh. As I told you in, in the last segment, that uh, the play focuses on uh, uh, outside forces, FBI, Jacob Hoover, yeah. or harassing him. Yeah. And then, but he's not paying too much attention to what's inside going on uh -huh. and the enemy inside. Yeah, right, you right, see? right, right. And, um, and so, therefore, now he, the problem is resolved. Mm -hmm. The mystery is resolved because people have been breaking in, in his office. Mm -hmm. They've been breaking down into I'm the... I'm sorry. Help me out. Who's the he? Who are you talking Mr. about? Mr. Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad. Mr. Elijah Muhammad yes. is talking about... Is this a theater thing piece This is now? a play. Yes, it's a play. A part play, play and yeah. he's now contemplating these issues. It's yeah, he's thing. now has resolved these Elijah issues. Elijah Muhammad is. Yes. He's and you're you're presuming this is his thinking. Is that what you're doing yeah, as, 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 as a playwright? As a playwright, yes. He, yes. he did not, he didn't evidence that in no, his life. This okay, is, this okay, is, okay, it's part of Some of this is, is, is imaginative writing. Yeah, right. And okay, based yeah. on real Good, facts, yeah. too. Yeah, know? yeah, that can be better than reality. Also. Yeah. So so those issues now that have been, re reality. Has been resolved and he uh, now is he's, he's back at peace because he, he all the challenges, because he's he's in his 70s. He's very sick with asthma at this How time. How old are you? I'm 70. Yeah. Just thought I'd mention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he um, now, so here we are now. We're now in his office. The, the, the problem is resolved. So he's, he's going to write a letter. Yeah, okay. Because he, he, he has changed his mind about some things right, that, right. that he taught. Yeah, His right. experience have taught him, he, as a lesson, say, I'm going to change an aspect of my teachings. Right, okay. And so here he is Yeah, now. okay, please, yeah. So he's talking to his, uh, to his secretary, Sister Mariam. Okay. He said, not, he, here, sir, that cough is serious. The doctor, or he's got this cough with yeah. asthma. Yeah. She want to give him some meds. Yeah. And he said, no, not now. Uh, next month I'm going to spend some time at my place in Arizona. Yeah. He had a summer home in Arizona for the dry weather there. Summer place in the winter? Uh, well, whatever it was, he said, go there for his, where, where it's real arid. Oh. But the doctor said he needed an arid atmosphere. You see? I don't think you want to go to Arizona in the summer, do you? I don't know when it was, but it was a, a time when it was arid. And Arizona's known for that. Yeah, but I, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. I, I, that's a fine point. So no, now next one I'm going to spend some time in my place in Arizona. The dry weather there always helped my asthma. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. He composed himself to di dictate letter and calls lightly as Sister Miriam, Sister Wright. Uh -huh. I'm going to notify Mr. Farrakhan. Uh -huh. Now, Mr. Farrakhan this time is because he's representative in New York and Harlem. Yeah, yeah right. And he's, Big also, force, yeah. and he's also his national spokesman. Yes, right. Time. I'm going to notify Mr. Farrakhan first since he's my national representative. Well, that would be, um, uh, he, who is his, uh, Akbar Mohammed. Akbar Mohammed has never been, he, at that time. Who is Ak Farrakhan? No? Akbar was um, Farrakhan's assistant. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. And, and he's also his historian. Oh, but you're talking about not the realities but perceived Possible reality. What we're talking about now, you, talk, you, you, you mentioned about. Akbar. Yeah. So I'm telling you that Akbar at this particular time in history yeah. was Farrakhan's assistant, his oh, okay. main assistant. Yeah, okay. And at this time, he's also what we should say call uh, Mr. Mr. Farrakhan's historian. Yeah. Oh, oh really? When he okay. wanted something yeah. to look up yeah. things and things like uh -huh. that, that was Akbar's uh, role. You like and Malcolm? Well, let me stay here for okay, a second. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't go on. Go Malcolm, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. So he says, I'm going to notify Mr. Farrakhan first since he's my national representative. representative. Yeah. So now he's writing a memo to Farrakhan. Uh -huh. So here's the letter. Dear Mr. Farrakhan, and he, then he tells her, before you put dear, put assalamu alaikum. Oh, yeah. Then he said, then say dear Mr. Farrakhan, assalamu alaikum. As of February, 7th, uh, as of February the 12th, 1970, members of the Nation of Islam, don't say, uh, then he says, ah, the rank and file, the ministers and captains and all other officials will no longer use the term devil in reference to the oh, white he race. He had used it, yeah. Please make this announcement to the believers during mosque meetings. And he tells her, say, add, uh, add this immediately. Please make this announcement to the believers during this mosque, the mosque meeting immediately. Okay, Sister Mariam, 
read it back to me, what you have written so far. And then she reads it back to him. Then he says, very good. And he calls again. Now add this. He wanted to add, add yeah. this postscript. Uh. Post this notes on all the, he tells Farrakhan, post this notes on all the Mars bulletin boards in clear view so that all the believers can read it. You must report to me within one week that the above order has been carried out. We in the nation of Islam are changing. Mm. The light is on, uh -huh. and the light is vaporizing darkness. Uh -huh. And then, and then the director of the, of the, of the it has to do this here. And Muhammad continues, continues, though his dictation is not uh, audible to the audience. Still talking to her, mm -hmm. but now the audience don't hear them talking. Yeah. Like when we go off from here, yeah, yeah, you're not going to talk, yeah, but yeah, they don't yeah, hear us yeah, talk, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, Sister Marion continues writing. Spoken like a playwright. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Muhammad completes dictation. He and Miriam have a few words. He walks her to the door. She, she salutes him. Mm. But you don't know if they had a very kind of military type of thing of yeah, yeah, saluting. Yeah, yeah. And returns a salute. Muhammad, view, Muhammad views Master Farad Muhammad. But he got a picture of Farad Muhammad on the wall. Yeah. The teacher you spoke yeah, about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he muses and he chuckles yeah, yeah. when he looks at the movie. He turns on the radio mm. and the radio reports is out. Mm. Here's the radio report. A radio announcer. Yeah. Well, folks. Look for the weather to change for the better in the next few days. <laughs> Tomorrow the sun will be up and smiling, and this freezing weather will take a vacation for a while. It will be between 55 and 60 degrees for the next day or two. Mm. There will be light rain with fog, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And this is a metaphor yeah. for what he's been through, all that, the dark uh, moments that yeah. he had uh -huh. during this moment trying to resolve this problem. Yeah. And now the light the light is, is, is on. Yeah. And, yeah. and then Muhammad... Muhammad gets on, the speaker comes uh, on. Have you conjured all this up yourself out of your yes, own mind? Yes, yes, yes. You're, you're like creative. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now the speaker phone comes on. Yeah. And Mr. Muhammad, the sister Mary, she's downstairs. She said, Mr. Muhammad, you have an appointment at 10 with Dr. William Thompson, Thompson, the head of the 100 bis black businessmen who care. Because he had a relationship with all these kind of people. Uh, Thompson? Yeah. I don't know. That that's is. imaginary. Oh, it's imaginary. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. but, he, but in reality, he did yeah. have... Um, relationships and communicate with all these black and white organizations. Entrepreneurs and stuff and everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Business. B real business and social business. groups. Yeah. And, and even right. the mayor at that time, I forgot who he was, and even the mayor at that time. Yeah. Mayor of New York? The mayor of Chicago. Oh, Chicago, sorry. Yeah, they, of course. Yeah, sorry. They got, a, they, got a, yeah. uh, they got a airport named after the, after the mayor now in Chicago. What's that? I, I forgot the name of that I airport. Forget. Yeah. But I've caught an airport there, there many yeah. times. I've forgotten. And then he looks at his watch. Uh. And say, thank you, Sister Mariam. That's another 45 minutes. Send him up as soon as he arrives. And then now, this is showing you what his uh, behavior is uh -huh. as he waits. He turns to different stations on the radio and settles on a station that's playing the song, Keep On Pushing. I mean, yeah. You remember that song? I do. By, by the uh, Curtis Mayfield. I forgot the, the group. It goes, Keep On Pushing. Sing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't stop now. Mm. He goes on like that. So, he's, so, so it's a yeah. song yeah. that's telling you the people keep pushing. Yeah. Don't look back in the past. Yeah, right. Like that, okay? Yeah. And by the, by the impressions, that's their name. Yeah. The impressions. By the impressions? It was their name. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember, yeah. yeah. And then Curtis, Curtis Mayfield was the main one, but he went on his own later on. Uh, it was just Curtis Mayfield. Uh, he adjusts his bow tie in the mirror. Yeah. Of, <laughs> nice image, yeah. Of, of window <laughs> and his appearance in general. He examines the picture of Master Farad Muhammad, adjusts it, and then faces the audience. Mm -hmm. He frowns, shakes his head as he's shaking off his recent troubles. He lowers his head if, he, if the weight of that is still there. Yeah. Then he rises on his toes for a moment as if to appear taller and prouder. Mm -hmm. He turns and looks out at the audience as if ready to face the world, uh, uh, whether it likes him or not. Yeah. As as song as as the uh, song plays, yeah. keep on pushing. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 it's, yeah, it's yeah. playing out now. Yeah, the song yeah, is still yeah. on. Yeah. As the song and light slowly fade, here's the picture of a humble and strong leader, visioning the nation of Islam future, and is at peace with himself. Yeah, hey, that's beautiful. And he's at peace with now himself. Now that's your writing, huh? Yes, yes. You, you're yeah. a poet. Well, I try my best. Yeah. To it's a gift from Allah, and yeah, you got to you're supposed to use it for the good. I ain't got nobody to say it's a gift from. Well, it's okay, I do? I but you got, got a no gift, Allah. though. I got no Allah to get a gift from. Well, you want to give it to your genetics, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give it to your genetics, yeah. you know. Anyway, that's okay. beautiful work, yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. good of you. Uh, yeah. So you put stuff on, 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 on theater, right? You think theater. 
Well, uh, yes, I do theater, but I try to do a variety of type of writing. Uh, like you know, I'm working on a children's book on him. Yeah, you do. A yeah. biography, which is written. How do you like writing for children? I like it. I've, just, I've done one children's book before. Yeah. You know, a story about a kid named Harry. He's an African-American kid who doesn't like his hair. He, he don't like his woolly hair. Oh, and nappy. I don't like the word nappy. You don't? Because is, that been, ba- is that a bad word? Well, I shouldn't it, use not it. bad, but it's been made to be bad. It's, it's been made something ugly. Uh, you know, when you say you're not saying anything good, when you even the comedians joke like that. Well, that's it, what I meant. I was thinking it was a comedic something or something. Yeah, yeah but uh, to me, it's, it, it's, it's a thing come out of the Holocaust of enslavement from our plantation days. Jews are pretty good at being able to laugh at things like that. Well, I well, think you know Mel Brooks and all. Well, that. he's you a comedian. Like those kind he's, of he's, he's a comedian. Yeah. But I guess yeah, I tend, that's I, what I was thinking. I tend, when it comes to things like that, that that, that try to demean and, and and dehumanize yeah. a human being, I don't think anything funny about that. You know. Like that, yeah, you but know. then you push the envelope, you know. People push. So I like woolly because yeah. they talk. Jesus had woolly hair in the Bible, and, I, <laughs> okay. and, I've, and I've seen woolly hair. I've seen <coughs> lambs. So <coughs> hair, like, hair, you don't say woolly. I say hair like lambs wool. Spoken like a good producer. You know? so, Spoken so, like a good so, producer. So I like the woolly, and, it, yeah. I have, and the African American hair. African hair is woolly. We got to get the investment back on this yeah. priest. And I don't want because you I, the people I, I, I walking went, out the back of the theater, I, I young went to, man. I, I, went I know to a state you think farm. it's funny, but you cannot yeah. just run wild yeah. in this world. I went to a state farm in uh, New York State <laughs> Farm. Yeah. Uh, where they had was, that a, was that of the uh, a penal system? No, no, no. It wasn't that. <laughs> I'm they making had, a joke. Every year they yeah. have um, a state farm exhibit. Yeah, okay. Agriculture. Uh, okay. So I went yeah. up one year. State farm? A state f- fair? Like, no, uh, right. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. They have them everywhere. I mean, well, this is New York. York. Okay, well, well New York's got a lot to And I go up there, for it, and so. I go to these different stables. Yeah. Me and my daughter, we go to different Horses stables. I went to those two. Yeah. But went to the, went to the lamb one, too. Oh, they're gorgeous. And I looked at their hair. Yeah. Their yeah. hair it reminded me of my hair. Yeah, they, yeah. You, you can't comb through That's it. You have to really right. work through it. That's right. You know what I mean? That's and right. So I like wool better than nappy. Yeah. But nappy yeah. fries something Woolly bad. Hair. Yeah, yeah, nappy yeah. fries something bad and terrible. Yeah. And, and you want somebody you want to get. And it also implies to me that, that the person thinks that straight hair like your hair is the yeah. better hair. And that's good. Well, garbage. my hair <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. They, they, and so they, in, in the African American community, that means well, he got nappy hair. He yeah. should have good hair. Yeah. And good hair is straight. Yeah, but hair. it's one thing for somebody to do that, and somebody for white, some white trash thing doing it. There's well, something if they, if you say it among the inside group, you know, you can. I don't. Do want, it. I'd rather not say it at all because you got children. Okay. You, well, don't you, want, you, you don't. You don't. You got ethics. You got. I don't ethics. want to pass that on the generation yeah. to generation. We got to. Okay, yeah. We got to get away, away from that. Post you don't think it's possible to get too hung up on the uh, you can, do you call you, political, you can. Uh, political. You can, but uh, I don't think that's what, what I'm doing. Term? What is the term? Political um, views and things like no, that. No, 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 not that. It's political acceptance or something. Uh, politically correct. Yeah, yeah but, that no, term, but but yeah. I but I but I think that um, many a joke that, has fallen um, into you that. You don't want to pass on. I, you don't want to pass on these the trauma. What I call, and this comes from Dr. Milana Karinga, uh, post Holocaust. Um, Trauma you syndrome. You don't know trauma until you got something like me. I'm a white Anglo-Saxon <laughs> Protestant male with the best mother and father in the history of the universe. But you might be. Yeah, double, I got trauma. But, you but don't you, know trauma. But you might have. Yeah. It's, you might have. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Cause I'm cause making a joke and a white. You're Anglo-Saxon, joking, but 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 yeah. but you never know because there's white trauma too. Yeah. There's white guilt. Yeah. It's black guilt, you know. There's oh, don't start bringing up all the guilt stuff of the well, white. Yeah, 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 in the black community too, so, you know. So, yeah. and, and 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 how the whole white thing is a damn it's a, nightmare. Of it's a nightmare. Injustice. A nightmare ca- causes trauma. Yeah, you're right. We we don't like to talk about that. Well, kind it of does. Thing. It, you can learn to live with trauma. Can you can you, you can, live but, with the nightmare? But, but can but you like, live with the nightmares of the. Uh, or not, or is there a, is there a, a saving grace in that? that I, th- I, I, I think I don't. I think you can, but I'm not sure you have peace of mind about it. Yeah. Would you would you have Hard peace of mind? Know. Yeah. Isn't it better to to journey into the, those scars and and unearth unearth those scars? And, Any baloney and, and, in the sense of feeling better? Not not to feel I better. I was going to use a stronger for term. For peace of mind. Television. For yeah. peace of mind and get to yeah. the truth yeah. of who you are. The truth. Now that's a biggie. Of who, of who that's a biggie. The truth. That's yeah. A biggie. The truth of who you yeah. are. Yeah. If yeah. I hide that stuff, then mm. you know, then why am I angry? Yeah. Well, why have this anger? I'm uh, angry. I was angry every. I, I've got a lot of reasons to be angry. Yeah, why, I see the why am I children feeling? not even have food to eat and all kinds yeah. of animals being, yeah. you know. Well, why do I look these at hedge fund why do I look guys at, who go and, you know, I got a lot of reasons. Well, to be why angry. do I look at Mr. Cantor and I don't even know him? He's white. I don't like him. You see, Who's why, why is it? 
Canner is your last name, is it? No, no, Sam Canner. What's Canner? Canner is somebody who puts salmon in something <laughs> or something. They're canners. They got them all over the weaves. See, West I, Coast. Well, I thought it was Canner or Channer. I'm just putting I just you said, on. I know it's Canner, yeah. On. It's Channer. 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 Okay. I, got, I, I, was, I wasn't like channel? Like, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Television? Now. Yes, sir. With an R. Well, see, we talked to the phone, you said something else, but I got it now. C -H yeah, channel. but I was moving. I had all kinds of boxes, <laughs> and that was a moment of the movement. The cat jumped yeah, right up so, on my lap. So you might have said that. anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But um, that, 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 we got to try to get rid of that tremor. And heal, mm. that's the word. What to is heal. the word? To we got to heal. Well, heal, yeah. Or, or yeah, try, oh, yeah I, think, I think that's the time we're in. I think we're in a time of, there's times of quantitative transformation. Mm -hmm. And then times of course, there's a thing women would know more about it than we men, because there's a thing called pregnancy. Mm -hmm, yeah. And you have yeah. a nine month period, and yes, then when Lord. the time mm -hmm. comes, the water breaks. Yes, sir. And the birth happens. That's right. So it is with evolution has mm -hmm. a thing where you've got a process in place. They got processes in place that have been in process for, for eons, thousands of years, and then something comes in a process of the mixing chemical or whatever. And it comes to a pertinent point, and uh, Gould and Eldridge came upon it, and it's pretty much accepted. The new appears. It's called punctuated equilibrium. The new appears. You've all been working within a context, and you get to a point of something happening in a synergistic, uh, a behavior of something more than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. Like a jam session hitting high school. Yeah, you talk. You know about what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of metaphor. Mm -hmm. But it goes like that, and then that's when they appear. Mm -hmm. That's now. There's a case can be made for the fact that we've been here ten thousand generations. We're the ten thousandth generation, mm -hmm. or that's roughly. Have you had your DNA done yet? No. I got mine done. I thought about. Well, well, Why don't you do it? I think they're going to do it with everybody. Uh, they they had a couple dollars it cost and everything like that. I did I it. I see it for seventy nine dollars. I've seen it for. That's not well. Bad. No, they're going to get it down. They're going to get it down to free, mm -hmm. and they're going to do it for everybody and everything because it's very simple and scientific. I had it done about ten fifteen years ago. My sister had it done, and it's very interesting because they have on the DNA of males, uh, 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 on the. Um, uh, 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 with males, it's. Um, D, uh, DNA, and, uh, uh, but with the females, it's mitochondria. You can do it. You can get a, a reading of the, 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 the development of your line. And this guy, a black guy doing some people, well-known people doing it now up in Harlem. Yeah, yeah. I'm up in Har Harvard. Yes, they're Dr. Doing Gates, Dr. Yeah, Gates. Yeah, Gates, yeah. They're doing it, and they're doing it all over, and I had it done. And what it does, it came up with, it was uh, Spencer Wells. He's at... Um, uh, uh, National Geographic, good organization. Mm -hmm. I'm a geographer, <laughs> and it, it, but he, he did it. I had to send it. He came back, and it comes back related to me as an individual in the midst of reality, and it's got what they call markers. And this is scientific, and the science is good. And what it is is they they had for me uh, the Y chromosome for males, uh, mitochondria for females. And they get a thing, and there's markers of an individual, as I understand it. Now, I don't, yeah. But the, it's indiv uh, to an individual human being, male, that existed in the past. Mm -hmm. And it can be identified with where that person was. Mm -hmm. That it did, it's, a mar it's called a marker. And they had one, and the one that went back the furthest for me, as an individual relating to a person that existed in the past, it went back, I think, I, I, I think it was either 60 or 80,000 years ago. Wow. Goes back, and it's all scientific. Mm -hmm. And this person existed in what was Abyssinia, or Ethiopia. Wow. We're all out of Africa. Oh, yeah. The whole species appears out of Homo erectus mm -hmm. 200,000 years ago. That's oh, when yeah. we start. We mm -hmm. did, no human beings existed before that. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but anyway, and then there was another one that came and went into what is Iraq. Mm -hmm. That was one, and it's advancing up toward the present. Then there was one in the Balkans. There was another one in the south of France. Mm -hmm. And then the one that was the most directly relating to me in the contemporary was one, so it, they've got numbers and everything. And it's a thing for England, Scotland, Wales, and a branch off to Sw Sw Sweden. Mm -hmm. And that was my lineage. 
back over thousands of years. They're going to do that for everybody. So I'm they will have question. A, they're going to have a, a picture of the, the, the uh, creation and the development and the emergence of humanity as an environmental factor of Homo sapiens, and they're going to have a clear, scientifically based understanding of the movement of humanity around the world back through 200,000 years of existence, mm -hmm. with scientific certainty. Mm -hmm. That's something worth really paying attention what to. What do you mean they're going to, they, you, uh, you saying they're going to require DNA? Are I you, beg your pardon? You, are you saying No, you just take a swab. You just oh, take, you, you say you one day take it's a swab off your jar, jar, and you put it in the thing. Do you think the government will be interested in that? Interested in that? Sure. Mm -hmm. They'd like to know the distribution of the you know, Homo sapien species. That's scientific understanding that we know, we have an idea, and we're going to be... We couldn't have done that 100 years ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, what I'm trying to say is we're awakening from a past of incompetency, mm -hmm. and we're getting to a page now. And now... All the extended consciousness of technology is extended consciousness. It's, it's going not only through, as it's been with uh, mitochondria and everything, but or with um, information technology. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're, this thing's going to go all over the world. This is going to go all over the world. This mm -hmm. program's going to go all over the world. And it's going to be mm -hmm. on cell phones, and they can, every, they got a smartphone. Everybody can do mm -hmm. everything. everything. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. going, it's going exponential, not arithmetic, the change. Mm -hmm. And now it's being, um, it's being transmogrified. And it's, uh, Amazon started and everything, but they got it down. It's being transmogrified into those guys that Carnegie Mellon was doing this when Car Kurzweil and, and those people were doing this stuff with the information technology that led to all of our m technology now. Mm -hmm. But they were doing it for robotics down at Carnegie Mellon. That's where they're doing it. And they got mo uh, Musk is coming on now, and they're going to have driverless cars. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the whole economic process that, that has work. required. They're going to have the whole economic process that has required massive inputs of human labor to the productive process taken over by robots. And they're not going to need slaves to mm -hmm. do economic production. You mean workers, uh, human no, workers. To, you don't need workers. Mm -hmm. The reason that people have been used by the crowned heads and all the rest of it was they had to have somebody to build those castles well, in which they if, could have great if, banquets. If, if, if your, if your uh, idea is true, and I think it's, it has a great possibility that it, that it is, it will be, then what happens to the human identity? Well, you talk, I couldn't agree with you more. That's a huge thing because people get their identity by saying, I am a television producer. I am a writer. I'm a worker. I am a I'm worker. A, I'm a yeah, producer I'm a, I'm of a labor. Worker. Well, you could do yeah. just labor, like uh, uh, wheelbarrows and stuff. No, not that. Well, I mean, just uh, the human being is a person that has to be doing something with his hands, with his mind, with her, you know, her, with her self. Now, they're going to take that and robotize all of that. Yeah, they're, what, they're, no, that's coming, no okay, doubt. Okay, but I'm saying that. And it's coming yeah, exponential. Then, then, so what you're doing, you're talking about demeaning and killing the integrity of the essence of the human being. Well, the essence, of the, as it's determined, uh, the essence of the human being for most human beings has been a slave-like attitude toward the masters who run the world. That's been mostly what people and kids have to be taught. You will uh, bow down to the king. You will bow down to the emperor. You will bow down to the big chief executive thing. The, the, all the uh, uh, established systems of distribution of uh, capability because they had to have the workers yes, to produce. But per They're going to not need workers. But permit me to disagree with you slightly. Uh, by, by all means. Yes. Um, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I think you kind of over oversimplify it when you say slaves. I think it's natural for the human being to want to work, to want to do something with his hand, to want to produce and see the results of what he or she produces. Well, no, no, but no, let me no, finish. It, I, I was, okay, man, go on. But I'm, I'm just saying but there's I don't plenty think, of room for people to do the but, things but, that are created. But I don't, I don't, but I don't call no. that. I don't call that slavery. I think that's no. that's that's a natural behavior of the human well, being. Well, what it's going to feed people to do, what it's going to do is free people to be. What would it be if nobody had to be worrying about what they had to do in order to eat? And how, then how no, could they, they've got food. How could that they happen? Got how would that happen in a robot? We have a capability. How, we would have that, a, how would that happen in a robotized society? Well, one of the things you're going to be able to have is a system where housing 
what, a couple thousand square feet for everybody of the air conditioning, the nice clean water, and all that kind of thing we provided to everybody. We can do it. We've got a capability. We've transcended scarcity. Under capitalism? Level, yeah, no, as a, 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 a mixed social capitalist world, mm -hmm. we, we've, got, we've developed a capability that is undreamed of any time in history of being able to provide life support, materially life support and the things to the people in uh, efficient ways, and it's getting down to where we don't need people like they did on the assembly line to build the Ford car. Mm -hmm. You'll have the car, but you won't have that, or you'll have the convenience. And what it'll do is it'll free people to be artists or to do what they want to do, not what they have to do in order to eat. They're essentially slaves. You want to live in a world like that? Yes. I want to live in a world where people can be independently able to do what they want, as everybody does. Nobody's going to have to be able and to been, require and, and anybody they've been else. fed. They've been fed by someone else. Of course. Else, by they're, another being force. Fed, they're being fed by, uh, by, tr by uh, robotized. You're, you're, not, you're going to get rid of cars. You're going to get rid of automobiles. The airplanes are going to fly themselves. You're going to have an um, abundant ability to provide, and you won't need the people checking boxes and little things. That's going to be done cybernetically. And they're going to have production of things that are very good, and people will be able... Everybody can become a have. I, th I think that's now the, the that that's that's a bigger thing than saying there's no God because that's the way people get their I th identity. I think that what you're saying is going to initiate the, the the disappearance of the human people. Well, no, you're going to call race. it. Well, it may be we're going to disappear. But they're those. They're no, those. we're not. We're you know we had you know we, you know what I don't, you're not needed anymore. Well, yeah, right. As slaves. As as people. No, in as general. slaves. Just as no. slaves. Well, there's nothing. Only really. What'd you Only say? two minutes. Okay. okay. Well, uh, um, with all due respect, that's the biggest question confronting us. And what's going to happen is we're going to have a liberated humanity, not an enslaved humanity. Humanity, by and large, 90% is slaves. Mm -hmm. They have to do what they're told by the people. Who, and the, oh, the assets that are producing the wealth is all owned by a tiny plutocratic class. Well, they live in castles. They live in Trump, Trump Towers. They live in things like that. And the people are doing what they have to do in order to feed the kids. They're not going to be under that constrictor. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to live a have life. We have a capability of doing that. And then when you get it that way, what you're going to be, you're going to have theater. They're going to have pieces of theater about Mr. O, uh, uh, you know, like you're doing mm -hmm. that. The things that really matter that are creative mm -hmm. and be able Good. to do what I, they want. I want to give the, uh, how to get to get, get all my means, book. By all means, give it. Uh, where you can get my book, The Devil and Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. You go to Ex Libris, X-L-I-B-R-I-S. Have you got it here? Have you got it here on the thing? Dot, dot com, Ex Libris, X-L-I-B-R-I-S dot com. You also can get it on uh, um, you can Google Elijah Muhammad, the devil Elijah Muhammad, you can get it that way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and on Amazon. Yeah, mm -hmm. and on Amazon, on the book, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got that in. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, we get to talk. I, I like the way we, we talk and we really get into it. No, that's but good. that's that's true. That's yes. coming. That's coming. Mm. Liberation. I'm scared is of coming. that. No, no, that, that's nothing to be scared of. That's a liberation. Wouldn't you want everyone to be able to be liberated, to realize their own <sighs> inner given capability and live in peace what and What happens to live in peace what happened and to love? sexism? Why do what would happen to those ideas? Well, those a lot evils, of the ugly evils. things like, I, I think it'd be good to get rid of racism but, and all the other kinds of prejudice that people do with their God. How would that help that? How would the robots help that? Well, I think that it's going to be a, 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 a we can liberate or we can annihilate the human species. Those are two new things in our lifetimes. Mm -hmm. 10,000 generation we come into, we can now eliminate the whole species. We've yeah. been so limited. We couldn't do that yeah. in the past. Yeah, that's, that's now we can, and we can also liberate and let loose and let time. there be ways to do something important yeah. rather than serve.